Okay, um, Ocean doesn't want to make the scant few PMs that transpired between the two of them public, because she doesn't want to humiliate you in Bedlam. If it was me, I would. Well, if you're going to imply there's something there, then I guess I'll post the um, emails. They're over there. Uh, it starts with an instant message of her MSN account, which I never went to. And uh, I, don't, I don't know if there was some message before that or not. I don't have that one. So if there's one missing, they want to provide it, fine. Uh, I think the rest are complete. Um, I don't think I'd have any reason to delete any. So that's, what, that's the extent of the PMs. The rest of the comments were on her message boards. She did show them to me, just so that one person would know this was bullshit. And I got to say, man, truly pathetic stuff. There was never anything between you. Those PMs of yours read like fucking love letters from Ted Bundy. Um, y you know, she was polite. That that doesn't really mean there was any kind of any kind of deep feeling uh, in in Bedlam. In fact, if anybody wonders how her and I first started to get acquainted, it's because I pwned your ass, and she sent me a PM like, "Oh, y y you know, thanks for putting that guy in." His I hate that guy. He, he used to stalk me. Um, I, yeah, uh, Ted Bundy. I think what I did was I offered her help because she had a problem with her video and then um, there was the food making contest okay and the novelty pig and she did some some uh, humorous videos connected with that and so I played along when I did my entry and so yes I pretended that I was going to win the novelty pig for her and um, you know she was even referred to as the crazy chick and that was sort of the joke and uh, yeah, so I played along with that. Obviously, as the PM show, she did see some humor in that. Um, and uh, that was, at the same period of time, Fake Sagan was actually um, calling the long-haired guy living in, in Korea, now the bad haircut guy, uh, yeah, all kinds of, you know, slurs because he wasn't an American and this and that. I mean, it was, it was pretty um, rude. Um, some of those exchanges so if you want to go look at some of those old videos and see what fake Sagan's like in an argument um, so uh, but anyway um, so let's get to the the, the bullshit um, yeah right I, you know I didn't say there was a personal relationship it was a friendship you have like with anybody else like I said she has very compelling videos you can't you know any person with any human sensibilities is going to find this person um, empathetic. Uh, you're going to, they're going to have some empathy, okay? She expresses a lot of pain in her, in her message. There's this poetry, there's this art, and um, yes, and that's the end of the connect, beginning and end of the connection. That's all. Um, call me Ted Bundy is just bullshit. And then to, to, to say uh, there was no deep feelings, and as for the polite part, look, my only grievance is, is that it was just bullshit. Um, the polite thing to say was is I'm involved with fake Sagan now so I've already made a decision because this all this took place right when um, the video I directed her to, to just because I you know four hours after the amazing atheist challenged me I, I made a pretty good pretty entertaining video you know the Rocky video and we were commenting on each other's videos prior to this and so I was just kinda like I wonder why she didn't comment and I thought well maybe she didn't see the video and um, but the real truth was is that, yeah, she had already made her decision or whatever or however it had happened and, and her connections with fake Sagan. And, um, and so she said her piece, you know, I don't want to get in, involved or whatever it is. I'm too crazy to handle it. And so I said, fine. That was it. The end. Last communication. The end. Nothing else. And uh, like I said, uh, the, some of this reflects poetry. I mean, the, the line about the raven, that's because one of her videos, she did a whole poetic thing, and so I did some poetry back, and that was a connection to the um, poetry. And that's all. It's just, you know, that's it. So there's nothing, yeah, so whatever you're talking about, what are you talking about stalking? I never went to her MSN account, never sent her any other communication whatsoever, and I'm called a stalker? Fuck you. All right, that's just bullshit slander. Well, here's the thing uh, in Bedlam. You know, what you said was so close to a threat of violence that uh, I thought about notifying YouTube. All right, as for the threat of violence, yeah, that's just bullshit, too. What I said, I made it quite clear to you, fake Sagan. You, you fucker.
All right, the hard drive dragged my anxiety disorder into the public. Not me, he did it. You endorsed it. You did the same goddamn thing. You made all these innuendos about my mental health. It's an anxiety disorder. Same fucking one Captain Awesome has. All right, and it's just bullshit. All right, and so I'm called you on it. Because now you have a girlfriend that has more than just a fucking anxiety disorder. All right, she fucking stood over her goddamn boyfriend with a goddamn fucking shotgun in her hands. So don't tell me about my, how I'm, you can't deal with me. You can't talk to me. No, you can't treat me with any kind of respect. And you can fuck somebody who did that. That's the bullshit. That's the fucking bullshit. And so I'm just telling you flat out that if, if, if mental illness or mental health is, is within the realm of legitimate argument here, then yes, I'm going for it too. All right? You do it to me, I'm going to do it right back to you, you fuck. Amendum. I challenge you to provide one piece of evidence that supports that I ever fucking dock dropped on you. Provide one fucking piece of evidence. Until then, you're a fucking liar. That's it, you're a fucking liar. Piece of evidence? Yeah, we got 40 fucking videos on the subject. I'm not, I'm not going through all that crap and finding the clip. You admitted that you left my name, address, and phone number. Plain and simple, a video of my name, address, and phone number. You deliberately, willfully, knowingly left it connected to one of your videos. When you could simply just press a fucking button and prevent video responses, prevent it from being attached. It sat there for 24 fucking hours. All right? That's dock dropping. You were the one who brought up my anxiety disorder. You're the one. Look, it doesn't matter whether it's, it's, it's a fact. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether it's accessible. That's not the fucking issue. The issue is you have no business dragging it into your discourse, asshole. <laughs> Who in the fuck are you to talk about the atheist fucking community with your frivolous fucking lawsuit? Frivolous lawsuit again. You know, see, that's again, that's a slanderous statement. Frivolous has a legal meaning, okay? My lawsuits have been about things most people understand, especially atheists who smoke. Uh, one, yes, I sued the federal fucking, I su sued the state of New Jersey for excessive taxation. I believe a thousand percent tax on cigarettes uh, constitutes cruel and unusual taxation. It's unjustifiable under the United States Constitution, and it's against the goddamn fucking law, plain and simple, and they're, and they're breaking the law. And I attempted to do something about that. Unlike other assholes who just complain, I spent $1,500 to do something about it. And because of the corrupt, crooked system, I wasn't able to accomplish anything but spend $1,500 and make some judges look pretty stupid.